And welcome back. Uh, we're in Frisco. We're at the Team Hotel, actually, which has uh, been kind of a fun place. We've seen the guys wandering by our media center that we have set up yeah. down here in the lobby, and that's where we'll do our pregame show on Sunday at noon. Um, you know, I had a chance to talk to some of the South Dakota State players about having an understanding of the mentality of the Montana team. They come in with a chip on their shoulder with something to prove, and they want to get back up to where they used to be, which is where South Dakota State was trying to get past North Dakota State. Now they've done that. You talk with a lot of Montana players and their coach today. What was your feeling in terms of their mindset coming into this game? Boy, does it really feel like things have flipped around in just one year. I mean, tell me if you've heard this before. You've got a conference champion who's a bit of an upstart, a veteran head coach who's never won a national title, looking to break through after a long time against a defending national champion. Wasn't that last year's script for SDSU against North Dakota State? Here you have a Bobby Hawk who's been here. He, he had three kicks at the can his first tenure during the 2000s. This is his fourth attempt at it. Montana, of course, had that great semifinal against North Dakota State. Uh, they've been trying to cut you past the Bison for a long time. They're a heavy underdog. I mean, I think... Uh, the betting sites, if you will, have them as a 13-point underdog. They do not view themselves as that. They're very confident, uh, and they have good reason to be. They've really been on a good roll since struggling midseason, and they have a proud history. I mean, this program was the blue blood when SDSU began yep. in this thing. Uh, they have a lot of good weapons. They kind of remind me a little of Southern Illinois, who gave the Jacks a pretty good game in the regular season. So they have a lot of reasons to be confident. But again, when I also spoke to South Dakota State, too, the Jacks know what they're facing here. I think they, they can look on that sideline and see a lot of what they were a year ago They've got a well. lot of respect for Montana, and I, I tell you what, the, the folks here at, like, at Toyota Stadium, Nick Schaefer, for example, he's thrilled because the three blue bloods in FCS are North Dakota State, South Dakota State, and Montana. Back-to-back -back years, you've yeah. had two of those three teams in a championship game. And you even had Montana State a couple years ago. Right. I mean, it's, it's basically the Dakotas and Montana that are running this thing right now. And, uh, you know, Montana's got such tremendous crowd support, much like the Jackrabbits, much like the Bison. They get 25, 26,000 people in there when it's zero degrees for a champion or for a, for a playoff it game. Really is They're a, really impressive. It's a bucket list place if you could go see a game at Washington Grizzly Stadium. Absolutely. So we're expecting a great crowd. It's a sellout for Sunday. So uh, you're just going to have to, if you're still home, Hang out there and watch us on the, on the pregame show at noon on Sunday. That's on KSFY. The game is at 1 o'clock, and we'll have an extensive postgame show after the game is over with uh, Thor in the studio uh, with Josh Anderson, and uh, Zach and I will be down here in Frisco. Thanks for tuning in. We'll send it back to the studio and talk to you again at 9 and 10 o'clock tonight. Have a great night.